Greetings and welcome back to Supermarket Village. I have been continuing to work diligently on my supermarket. As a matter of fact, we have a new section that's going to open up. I think that's going to be an expansion for the meat section, but we're probably not going to do that for a while. Okay, so I think I can probably do another one now, although I doubt I can afford it. I mean, it would what? No, I can't even afford it. I was thinking it would wipe me out, but yeah, I can't even afford it. So I can add another meat section. I can add another bakery. But what I'm interested in is the grocery sections because that seems like it's going to be new. So I'm going to have to find a way to do this one without wiping myself out. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do about tools. I'm a little bit short on the saws. I'm looking at these. I can probably do the one on the left. The one on the right just doesn't seem worth it considering what it's offering me and what I'm getting, even though it does have a saw over there. See, the thing is that neither one of them are actually offering me things for the mine. And we're kind of going to be talking about the mine today because I have built the Industrial Academy. We're going to take a look at that, but we do really need to take a look at the mine first because... That's where all the raw materials are coming from, isn't it? All right, so why don't we go up to the mine for a moment here. I have been working in here. And of course, then we have our foundry up here. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, so I am showing some materials here. Unfortunately, I am running very low on the pickaxes. It seems to be the thing they give me the least. So let me just see about using some dynamite. Okay, I see silver, but I'm not going to be able to get them. I can get one of them? I mean, I don't really see... I mean, if the dynamite isn't going to do the job, I don't think. Here, look. All right, and then I'll do another one. Okay, I got one. Unfortunately, I can't do the other one. Let's just do some dynamite. See, that only hits it one time. I would actually have to hit it again. And I'm not going to waste dynamite on that. So I guess I have to wait for more pickaxes to show up, which is the reason I wasn't really interested in those Einlon orders because that's really where I've been getting this stuff from. And the little bombs are really useful. I mean, look, that'd be kind of wasteful right there, wouldn't it? I mean, I'll do it, but it is kind of wasteful. All right, so we have a little extra silver there. Anyway, what we do, of course, is we take the silver and the other things over to the foundry. And you can see I'm actually working on a gold bar at the moment. So you need to have enough. See, I could do more than two there. And I can nearly do another silver ingot there. Um, I have two in the warehouse. I'm currently working on one. Now, I do have a platinum ingot. I believe I got that from one of those little watch a video things. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. Oh, and by the way... The uh, chest that you open for, um, for three gems, they occasionally don't give you gems. They occasionally give you a tool. So I don't know if that's going to become more frequent, but it is something to keep an eye on if you are saving up the, uh, the gems. Now, the thing about the bars is that they are actually starting to clutter up my inventory, so I need to get rid of them. Uh, I do have 140 space, but I would still like to keep, uh, you know, perishables in there. So I'm probably going to use them as I get them. And uh, how do we use them? Well, we're going to go back over here and we're going to take a look at the uh, Industrial Academy. Apparently, you use the ingots to upgrade your factories. Now, what does that actually mean? Bread factory, upgrade your factory and its attributes. What does that mean? Now, I'm guessing one thing, maybe it reduces the time to produce products. I don't really know. It just seems for the bread factory, that's a little bit on the expensive side, you know? I mean, a silver and a gold. And I'm not really having a problem with the bread factory. The problem with the bread factory is getting the materials, you know, like butter and such like that, in, in order to create the products. If I had to say I would want to fix something on the screen, I think the dairy factory is a better one. And it does seem to be less expensive. I know I wouldn't do the feed factory. Why would I? They cost like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and I think 20 minutes. You know, I always have a lot of those. Here, let's just see what I'm talking about here. All right, let's go over here for a moment. All right, let's take a look at my feed factory. 
I have lots of stuff there waiting for me. Let's look at the other one. Yep, I don't see a reason why I'd want to spend anything on these. I mean, the thing is, they make them a lot quicker than the animals consume them. So, I mean, I always have a lot of them, and they're really inexpensive, so it's not really a problem. In terms of the bread, it's like I said, really, it's materials, and if I had to pick something, this one here is a pain because it wants butter. But if you look at it, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I mean, how often am I going to make them? I have them sitting up there, you know. Actually, I don't have any bread at the moment. I think I might have some in storage. Um, now, if we go over here, this is different here. Now, butter, 15 minutes. Yogurt, which, of course, uses sugar, which is very annoying. I have so many things that use sugar right now. All right, 30 minutes, and then 40 minutes, and then an hour, and that requires three. So is it going to reduce those times, or is it going to be something else? I have no idea. You know, there's only one way to know. And I see in the upper left there, it's got a one on it. So I'm guessing it's level one, and we're going to kick it up to level two, because if I had to pick one, that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's just go right ahead and do that. So let's see what the dairy factory improvement is. Okay, dairy factory, choose the attributes that you want to improve your factory. Okay, factory products will give plus 5% more experience. Okay, factory products will sell for 5% more money. Okay, I like time reduction. Oh, I have to be a level 3 for that. Okay, so I can't do that. And what is this one? I can't even see what it is. Does that mean I get an extra slot or something like that? Well, I mean, if I have to choose between this and this, then I'm going to choose the more money because I don't really want to be rushed to level because whenever I level, it wants me to buy something really expensive. And then I'm going to have customers saying, hey, you don't have that really expensive thing yet. So I'm just going to stay in your store forever until you have it. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the money. Okay, so what about the other ones? Now, the refinery is a little bit of a sticking point for me. Where is it here now? This is where we do the sugar. Do I have any more? Yeah, I could do more. Uh, more. Because everything seems to want sugar now. Everything seems to want sugar. And a lot of sugar. Like the, uh, what is this one? The caramel apple that needs two. And then everybody seems to want the... Uh, the strawberry, what's the name of it here? The strawberry milkshake, and that requires it too. And then the yogurt requires it. Oh, it's just a pain. It's just a pain. And then, of course, um, then we have like the complex one. Like, for instance, we have candy here. I think that's supposed to be syrup, but, you know, they're calling it candy. I mean, we have a candy factory, so I don't know why they're calling it candy. Uh, but that, of course, uses two sugar, and now we have a lot of things that need that. For instance, if we go over here, I believe it's the muffin. Yeah, that needs the syrup. I'm just going to call it syrup over here. And then, of course, we come over here, and the pork ribs also need that. So that's two sugar, and then I have to put it together into something else while the factory over there is not producing actual sugar. Because, uh, yeah, I only have two boxes over here, and I'm pretty sure I bought one of those. So, I mean, I have to invest a lot of gems in this to get this going. So, yeah, I would like improvements over there. So, why don't we just go over here again? What can we get for the refinery? Okay, that's actually going to be three silver, too. It's the same thing. And it's going to cost me three silver. I mean, I'd really like to speed up in there, you know? But, I mean, this isn't really helping me very much. And I'm not selling anything out of the factory. It's not like I'm selling sugar, so it doesn't really do me any good. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see a reason to do this except maybe to get to the later ones. But, I mean, the money, I don't sell anything that I produce in this factory. It's going into something else. So, I mean, if I have to increase it, I guess it's going to have, oh, you know what? I should look to see if there's something else I want to spend that um, three silver on, right? All right, let's just look around here. Meat plant, I don't have to mess with that. That's really expensive there. Candy factory, I mean, it's the products, getting the things together. Grain mill, not really doing very much with that. You know, I have to kick out uh, cornflakes every once in a while, and that's about it. Beverage factory, yeah, okay, I can't do that one anyway because it wants two uh, gold. Didn't I spend a gold already? Yes, I did. Ice cream factory, I don't even have that yet. Online orders. 
Okay, six. I mean, more money would be good. You know, this would probably be the most useful one. But I mean, I don't have six silver, so I think I'm kind of done. I mean, I could do the beverage factor. I can't do the beverage factor. I was looking at copper and gold, but uh, yeah, I don't have enough. Although I am producing a gold right now, so maybe that. It just seems that saving the silver for this last one might be the best idea. And speaking of that, I'm pretty sure I have two of those. I know I have the... Um, yeah, why don't we just throw that in there right now? We're just going to do this. All right. And then let me get the uh, the strawberry. Okay, do I have what I need to make another one? Uh, I need milk. Well, I can do something about that. All right. Do I have anything? I have three. I really didn't have to do that. All right. Well, I can get milk. I can certainly get milk because I have the ladies helping me with this. All right. Can I grab one, two, three... Or, oops, okay. Well, you know what? I'm probably going to need that eventually anyway. Here, start working on some replacements. All right, let's see. And give me the milk. And nobody want pig feed? No, you don't want pig feed, do you? No. Somebody will want pig feed. Uh, if for nothing else, maybe the pigs will want pig feed. I have a big one. I have a little one. And I have a little uh, hen. I finally got rid of that 10 hen. Yeah, somebody wanted that. Oh, well. All right, so, um, I, oh, that's right. I wanted to make the, um, where was it here? Yeah, this stuff right here. Actually, can I make two of them? Yeah, I'm going to make two of them. They, they all just seem to want them. All right, but uh, I have this one in here. And then we have this one in here. And then we're going to advance. See, I didn't get any mining stuff for this. Okay, see, supermarket fever at the top. So it advanced a little bit there. They had this event going. Oh, and apparently you can get boosters. You can see that I'm in line for a booster there. There's another booster at 212 and then at 386. That looks like the really good one, the one that speeds everything up. I know it's not green, but that does look like the same icon as, where is it here? That first one right there, doesn't it? I mean, unless it's something completely different. I know it's a different color, but it does look like it has the little leaf, and I don't see anybody else with the little leaf on. Although, it does seem as if I've collected enough of those little bottles that I can do two of these now. I will consider that for the future. Okay, so uh, basically, in terms of this, we're wait I'm not going to do this one because I can just look at the croissants and see that's going to be too much trouble. They're probably going to want like nine or something like that. And yeah, I'm not going to do that because you need butter for each one. And it's just a pain, just a pain. Everything else does seem to be going well. It's just that these guys have a tendency to annoy me. Um, I could really, actually, I don't think I have the strawberry milkshake for that anymore. I think that's the reason I was making them actually for like him. Yeah, you got guys like this who show up with like one box. Did I make that box? Yes, I did. I made that box. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have sugar. I mean, I could reach over here, which I probably do need to do, grab a sugar. You got an empty box? No, you don't have an empty box. Do I have... Uh... All right, I don't really have the um, the sugar cane going, do I? I think that was sugar cane, wasn't it? Uh, let me go back up here and make more of these because people just seem to ask for them. Oh, sorry about that. And let's go down to here. All right, and we'll put this guy on priority because I want to get him out of the store. If somebody comes in and asks for one thing that's hard to actually make, it's very annoying, and I want to get them out of the store as quickly as possible. Everybody else is just kind of like a mix of things, and I try to take care of them when I can. It's just that there's a lot of things. Like a couple of people are asking for pork, aren't they? One, two. Do I have any pork? Uh, wrong one. Meat section. Uh, no, I don't. Um, I'm afraid then I just figured out what I'm going to do with the uh, the extra pig feed. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to need that. All right, so let's get another one going here. I already have the pig feed out. All right, so I'm going to put a couple pieces in there because I know at least two people want them. 
All right, and this person here, yeah, cornflakes, get out of my store already. But it did advance the supermarket fever. So doing the online orders and taking care of the customers, that is very useful for advancement. And do I do business with this fellow? Check this out. Yeah, I do business with this fellow. So in an hour and one minute, I'll be back. Okay, so this guy over here, it's just not as useful as I was hoping it would be. I was kind of hoping if you improve it, it would do a bunch of attributes and not like very tiny little incremental changes. Because, I mean, in order to do anything serious, you know, you need a lot of stuff in there, don't you? I mean, let's face it. These are the ones you want. You want the, the speed up. And I don't really know what that means. Is it giving me another slot? If it is, those are the important ones, you know. The extra experience is kind of a detriment because it speeds you along and then all of a sudden you have to unlock something else and that costs a lot of money. Uh, like for instance, like I said, with the uh, supermarket, it wants me to open up another section. I can't afford it now, but I mean, it would wipe me out. So we're going to wait on that till I probably have like eight or 9,000, something like that. Right. And the thing is, the foundry is kind of slow in terms of uh, making it. You can see right there, I believe it was like three hours or something to make. When, what does it say down here? Yeah, it was three hours to make a gold ingot. And even down here, they take an hour each. Yes, you could spend money to speed it up and such like that. But I mean, I don't have 8,000, you know what I mean? And it's just a matter of everything just cost more and more and more. I mean, look at this. Decorations. 3,000, 4,000, 2,500. These are reasonable. I mean, we could do that one, but I just, I just can't afford it. And a statue of the mayoress. Why would I ever do that? Why? I mean, I still haven't fixed her town hall yet. Really? Right there. Where is it? Um, is it over here? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, there it is. Right there. Yeah, 3,000? I'm sorry. I can't afford that. Maybe if you would lower my taxes, maybe that would do a job, right? Anyway, I think that's going to be it. So I just wanted to uh, talk about this. Uh, it was kind of expensive to make. And uh, it seems like you're going to need a lot of ingots. And you're going to have to plan in advance. I mean, even just to do this one down at the end, which I consider probably the most useful. I mean, every increase is going to cost. And that's assuming it doesn't go up either. I mean... It could very well be asking for more ingots as you do the increases here, you know? If I say, okay, well, I, I want more money from this. I want more money from the crates. And I do this. Maybe it asks for eight next time. Maybe it asks for ten, you know? So, I mean, this one here, that's where my silver is going to go. So I'll have to figure out where the other stuff is going in the future here. I mean, the dairy, didn't I just spend one gold on that? And now it's asking for copper. What will be the next increase? I guess basically it's just going to give little increases then, right? And I need one more before I can get to this. And I have to be level six to get to that. Wow, that's, that's a whole lot of mining. And remember, that's a whole lot of mining um, without me getting a lot of pickaxes. I got a lot of dynamite. I got a lot of bombs, but not very much in the pickaxes. They just don't really seem to give us a lot. I use dynamite most of all, really. It's because I just... I had like six pickaxes and I had like 21 dynamites and I was saving them up. It's just that whenever you do an online order, it just doesn't seem to give you pickaxes. Very, very strange. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So I'm going to continue to work on my uh, supermarket. And if anything new pops up, any new functionality, anything interesting, maybe we'll do videos in the future. If you want to see more videos of this, by the way, please give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments for the great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.